ray-based rendering systems allow to produce high-quality images comprising physical effects of light flow. However, complex scenes and complex effects require a very large amount of computations which increases the rendering time, and therefore often hinders the interactive tasks, even when the rendering system exploits the power of modern GPUs. The performance of such a system can be seen in this example. Since the computational complexity is inherent to the rendering algorithm itself, it is necessary to sacrifice some of the image quality in order to achieve acceptable frame rates. This example shows that ray count reduction can provide more interactivity but at the price of a lower quality as shown on the right hand side. This example shows the comparison of image quality of a simple ray reduction method, a better adaptive method, our method and the ground truth. Our method produces a high quality image using the same ray count as other methods. In this case, it is less than 1% of the ground truth. This example shows how an image is generated with our approach and its difference to the ground truth. Notice that due to the small video resolution, single rays in the upper right image are not visible. Our method is also applicable to volumetric materials. The feature frame now shows the perceptual features from multiple isosurfaces, which were extracted according to the transfer function. Previous acceleration techniques do not allow to define a desired minimal frame rate. Our system is able to guarantee the user requested frame rates, thus allowing a high amount of interactivity. In an offline step, we have evaluated the impact of different feature types on the image quality. We use this impact value as priority lookup table to weigh the pixels of the feature frame. These pixels are subsequently considered as a queue, which is sorted according to its priorities. The queue is then processed until the time to generate a frame runs out. Finally, a sparse data interpolation scheme is applied to generate the final image. The following example shows a volumetric material rendered with increasing guaranteed frame rates. Notice that despite of the reduction in quality with growing frame rate, the overall shape as well as details of the object stay recognizable.